All right, welcome back to Cactus Maiden, you crazy cactaholics, you. All right, guys, real quick, I want to give you a quick little message before I get into today's video. Uh, there is a pretty nasty hurricane out there, Hurricane Irma, if you have not noticed. Um, if you live in Florida, you know about it. Um, I don't, nobody really knows where it's going to go or how, how bad it's going to affect Florida. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, my loyal subscribers, give you a heads up that if you don't see any more videos this week, it's because I am preparing for the hurricane. Obviously, that's a little bit more important. And hopefully, hopefully we make it through okay with uh, very little damage or hopefully no damage. Hopefully, the entire state makes it good. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, today on Cactus Maine, I'm going to show you how to make a cheap, easy, and effective seed growing chamber. You only need four things. First, you need an old aquarium. Doesn't matter if it's dirty, don't need to clean it. You do not need to go out and buy a brand new one. You know, plenty of times you can get on Craigslist and find a good used 20 gallon long tank like this for 10 bucks. Cheap. Then you need plain white paper. All I'm using is printer paper found relatively cheaply everywhere. Most of us have it hanging around the house. If you got some cheap white online paper, that's what you need. Some cheap tape right i don't know probably 97 cents that's it and last but not least light mm. <laughs> what is that face that's all you need guys is some light this right here is a four foot t8 dual bulb fixture shop fixture i think i got this shop fixture at walmart for probably 15 bucks and then the bulbs are just standard T8 grow light bulbs from Walmart, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere. They say grow light on them. And yeah, those are probably eight bucks each. So you're looking at mm, 30 to 40 bucks for your light. Nice and cheap. All right, guys, all you want to do is start laying your white paper down on the bottom. All you gotta do, just keep laying it down. If you wanna go ahead and hold it in place a little bit better on the bottom so it's not moving around on you, just go ahead and tape all the pieces together. Nice and simple. I should put it right there. Now it won't really slide around. I mean, the whole thing will, but you're good to go. Nice and easy. The next step, what I like to do is just fold over a little bit and hang it on the back, just like that. And then I tape it on the back side. And make sure you always overlap. If you overlap it, then you won't have any gaps. Okay, as you can see, we got the back wall covered and the floor all nice and white. You can put it in any way you want. You just want to cover it up and you want to make sure you're overlapping at every seam so there's no gaps. Um, like I didn't tape this right here over time. If it gets wet, it's going to wrinkle down. So if you want to put more tape, you can put more tape. Customize it to your liking. Just make sure you cover everything with white paper.
and there you have it. Nice filled out. I mean, obviously you can do a better job if you want. Now I got a little space right in that corner. I'm probably gonna take another piece of paper and go around it to cover it up. Not the neatest looking one I've done, but that's how you do it. And last but not least, go ahead and put your light on. Turn it on. And now you see why we put the white paper in there. Nice and reflective. It's reflecting light evenly. I mean, obviously, evenly as you can get doing this method, but it is far better than aluminum foil or aluminum foil if you're across the pond. As that stuff just shins light into so many different directions, it's uh, it's unreal, and it can create uh, red, not red, but light hot spots. Not, not temperature hot spots, but brightness hot spots. And that's what it looks like, guys. Now on this one you'll see my light is too long, but that's pretty good because I could put another table down here or something and have some maybe some grafted plants utilizing that bit of the light. Alright guys, there you go. Setting up a cheap, easy, easy, cheap, and effective seed growing chamber. This total thing right here will probably run you about 50 bucks unless you got the stuff hanging out around the house. Remember, the light that I use for my cactus seedlings is a dual T8 four foot long fixture with just the regular glow lights that you get from Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. If you guys paid attention to my last video about this room, I said it stays about 80. If you got the studio lights running, it gets a little hotter if you can see. It's pretty smoking hot in here, guys. I just wanted to show you this quick video. Again, if you don't hear from me the rest of this week, it's because I'm preparing for Hurricane Irma. Hopefully she skates uh, somewhere else. Hopefully back out into Atlantic and we all stay safe. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by Cactus, Maine. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Happy growing. Thanks for stopping by.